Hey everybody, your old pal Blimp here. Been a while since I've done video, so today I'm on. I've been doing a lot of thinking and been taking some time off from the show and stuff like that. But as um, soon as I get the chance, I will be doing my show, Backwoods Investigations, again pretty soon. And with it being winter and Christmas is only a few days away, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, do a little bit of talks about stuff I've been mulling over in my head. The origin of Bigfoot. Now, you guys can agree with me or not. Leave a comment. I believe that with the uh, origin of Bigfoot comes from Homo heidelbergensis, which is where the Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis stemmed from over in Eurasia. But what if Homo megapodensis, the Latin name I coined for Bigfoot, is actually a distant branch of that group. A lot of people agree with me on this theory. Adam Davies, Davis agrees with me. And Daniel Benoit of ECBRO agrees with me on this theory that it is highly probable. Um, another thing, the term zapping, which is supposed to be whenever you're in the vicinity of a Bigfoot, you're, it's uh, sometimes you get sick, your stomach or get nauseated, or you start getting a headache. I kind of, I'm not debunking it because I still haven't studied into the theory, but I was sitting here thinking here in my office about what if it's the same kind of thing that us hunters get when we have deer fever. You get ready, you see that big buck, and you get, get uh, nauseated, and you pull you get before you pull the trigger, and your adrenaline goes up, and you get sick. <clears throat> what if that's just the same thing, like deer fever, except it's squatch fever? You know, you're seeing a creature for a, uh, a magnificent creature for the very first time, and um, you're just having a natural reaction to something you've never seen before. Yeah, you're overwhelmed with, uh, you're getting a tidal wave of, of emotions over this experience. Like you would with a big buck or an elk, like an elk or a big white-tailed deer or a moose or a bear. You're getting hunter's fever, which is why I say, what if that could be with the term zapping? Another one that I'm talking on, um, I was thinking about, about this last night. What if, with the Bigfoot, with the term, with the, like the Cherokee Devil of North Carolina, Cherokee County, North Carolina, for example, what if it is of demonic origin, you know? I mean, the Bigfoot, I mean, a lot of people disagree that Bigfoot's are interdimensional beings. I don't uh, agree with that. But I'm just saying, what if some of these creatures that they encounter have actually demonic origin? Because with the Cherokee Devil, they said the legend goes that you it has the power of mind control and can take over your mind. And like with Buck and Huckleberry, if especially with Huckleberry, he said all he remembers is running like he saw himself running, but he had no control over his body. What if that stemmed from a possible demonic possession, you know? I don't know. You guys go and be the critic on that theory. But um, anyway, it's good talking to you all again. Until then, I'll see you on the trail. Stay squatchy, my friends. Be sure to follow us on Facebook uh, through the Southern Illinois Monster Hunters Team homepage. Like us with your friends and click the like button. All right, again, Merry Christmas to you all. Happy New Year. Me and the team will be resuming our big time hunts in the spring, March 31st, April and through April 2nd of 2017. I will be hosting the Southern Illinois Spring Bigfoot Field investigation. I got a couple people coming out, three days, two two days and three nights uh, of camp, two night, two days, two nights of camping, out on my land, but in Sasquatch Hollow. 
we did it pretty good this November. About froze to death, but we got some good evidence. We found a footprint 500 yards from camp. And um, we found, uh, and then my colleague, oh, Kyle Nation, my cousin that was with me, he was on second watch the last night of camp, and he heard one at the north edge of camp about 20 yards from camp in the tree line. And I checked it the next day, and I found trees pinned I found a tree pinned over, broken branches, and the like. So y'all be sure to share this with your friends. You guys, if you want to review the evidence, check my Facebook page under Zach Sterick. I'm be glad and message me if you're interested. Um, I'm an identifier. I you send me any pictures over Messenger, I'll look over them and give you my honest opinion of what I'm looking at. And um, just if you want any information on the Bigfoot investigation, be sure to message me on Facebook. I'll be glad to answer any questions you got. Until then, this is Blimp signing off. God bless everybody.